All right, I think we'll have a bit of a back and forth on this one because this is a, well, what is your opinion? Mm-hmm. So it can be whatever. whatever People love our opinions. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that. <laughs> well, that was the impression I was getting. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, what is the oldest usable hardware? And we'll, I, there's three options here, so we'll just start with one. Yep. Yep. So the oldest usable hardware for AAA gaming. And again, this is subjective. It's opinion-based because I guess, like, for me, usable for, like, um, competitive multiplayer titles is, like, 90 FPS is what I consider the minimum. Um, for me, the minimum for single player is, like, 45. Ideally, I'd want to be shooting more towards 60, though. Um, CPU that will allow you to do that. And was this CPU and GPU or was it just CPU? Just hardware in oh, hardware. general. So I think we'll start with CPUs. Um, GPUs gets really tricky. I think the minimum for AAAs is sort of like a, a six core, 12 thread Intel CPU. I know people are pointing to like the four core, eight thread stuff, but I think that's more for the number two part, the mainstream. Yep. So I think for AAA, to- the latest and greatest demanding stuff, I think you really want a six core, 12 thread Intel CPU. Um, From so, what generation? Like because the, six like, core... the, like, like the eighth generation. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, because yeah. that's when they were introduced right on the desktop. Yeah. Uh, and then, like a six core, twelve thread, Zen two onwards CPU, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about oldest usable hardware. I certainly think Zen two is still very usable. Yeah. So from that perspective, but, but a six yes. cores, I, I don't know so much about like you know the Ryzen three thirty one hundred thirty three hundred X. They're probably yeah. usable, but they're more mainstream usable. I think if you want, yeah. I think first generation Ryzen as well, you're probably looking at an upgrade to get, yeah. Yeah, and again, I'm wanting to push like around 90 FPS in, in yep. modern games. So I think for, I think Zen 2, um, and then, yeah. So, and then mainstream stuff, look, sure, you could definitely go down to the quad cores with eight threads from Intel. Um, yeah. Like the 7700K, 6700K. Like if you're just targeting 60 FPS, there's a lot of CPUs that are going to be capable yep. of that. Yeah, and then um, again, first generation Ryzen, Ryzen 5, 1600 still very capable um, yep. maybe even the quad cores but not as confident what about gpus for AAA um, gaming what's still acceptable i think we can safely go back to the pascal era but the question oh, is yeah, what yeah. gpu for AAA gaming is a gtx 1060 still still suitable for AAA gaming i'd probably say no no no, Maybe that'd be mainstream. You'd probably want at least like a 1080 or 1080 Ti. I think so, yeah. It's probably around the level, whereas 10, the 1060 is still okay for mainstream mm-hmm. gaming. Yeah. If you, And I guess, again, it, de- it depends whether for AAA gaming you're talking, you know, do you like, want a high frame rate at a low quality setting or are you acceptable with like a low AAA FPS? these days, 1440p, again, the sort of 90-ish FPS, so... Not 60 hertz, just above 60 hertz, which, you know, you start getting towards yep. 100 FPS. Now, um, yeah, like I said, 1440p. And that is sort of like the 5700 XT, Radeon RX 5700 XT levels of performance, which is essentially a GTX 1080 Ti, which is essentially like a 2060 Super to 2070. That that kind yep. of range of performance, I think. Um, I think, again, it depends, whether it, it depends what level of quality settings you're Sure. Because yeah. you could go down to medium on a lower tier well, card. Well, if you're playing Fortnite using competitive settings, you can yeah. use a GTX 1060. But, so that's where these questions become really muddled because people will be playing, you know, Overwatch. Yeah. And you don't really need the world's most powerful GPU for playing Overwatch. So it depends. Are, you, are we talking about Overwatch? Are we talking about Warzone maxed out with ray tracing, which is kind of dumb, but, you know. if are we... But I think for oldest, the, the way I'd think of oldest usable hardware would be like, what could play most games today in the AAA category at sort of like not junk tier quality? It's your opinion anyway, so, so it can't be wrong. So, well, yes, effectively, so yes. you can disagree, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. It's your opinion. Because, like... yeah, I think for mainstream gaming, something like an RX 570 slash GTX 1060 is probably where the minimum is today. I think mm. if you're running a card below that, like a 1050 or obviously I mean, previous gen cards. There's probably, I guess it when it gets to the point where games literally cannot be played because the GPU is too old, like, like a, even something like a 6500. Like <laughs> yeah. How do we both go to that I was just, straight away? I was just thinking of like, can you play Cyberpunk on a 6500 XT? It's like, not it's really. pretty dicey. Yeah, the lowest possible settings, you can't hit 60 FPS. And I think a GTX 1060 would struggle with that game too. So, yep, does. Same with RX 580. So, Circ, 
So during, the, those during are probably the, a mainstream option and a higher end option exactly. would be like a, a 1080 or something. Yeah, because during the height of the cryptocurrency boom like a year ago, I looked at RX 580s, how usable are. I, think I even did the GTX yeah. 1060. And for the vast majority of games, 1080p medium, really playable, really great performance. But then you get to the latest and greatest cutting titles, Cyberpunk being a great example, not really playable, even at 1080p using the lowest quality settings. So... Yeah, and I think that that's the point where you're looking at upgrade. Could, if you can't play yeah. the game, the game's a a game that you're interested in comes out, you can't play it. Your hardware is no longer usable. Yeah, so. that it, that's right, and that's your sort of your perspective. Yeah, I guess but for someone who's, for, for someone who's still point. playing Doom, they're probably going to get 200 <laughs> FPS on the RX 580 at yep. like medium settings. Uh, oh, there was a third one. What was the third again? The third one was for Office Web. Uh, Office Work plus web browsing. Yeah, seller on six nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you can use basically anything for for running Windows, light Office tasks, web browsing, email, anything that's modern. Yep, will work just fine. 